So guys, it went another one. Uh, I'm just leaving the, the built up bit. So this is the, the stairs through this little woodland park that I go through. Um, and as you can see, they just go on and on. They go around that corner and then down further. So um, that's what I call the, the, the stairs of death. Because uh, when, on my way back, even though my bag's a bit lighter, on my way back, that's what I've got to come up the last little bit before I, before I get home. So that's always fun. Anyway, we're out on one. I did go out on one a little while ago, but uh, I don't know why. A lot of the files were corrupted on it and the Dolby just wasn't playing ball with it, so I ended up ditching it. So we're going to go out to the, the sort of established camp. I think it's going to be two days. Uh, the only thing I'm going to watch for is, it's, it's not windy windy, but there's a, there's a bit of wind going on. I don't know how much I trust the trees there. I wish I knew what type of tree they were. But I think it'd be alright. So out for a couple of days. See what we get up to. Um, right now you're still allowed out. You know, it's in lockdown. You're still allowed out in not small groups, but I think with one other person. Or by yourself for exercise. Or I think you're allowed out with more than one, one other person if it's all members of your family. So... You know, husband, wife, a couple of kids, whatever. You're allowed that, so... Yeah. See how it goes. I'm just going to... I'm going crazy stuck in the house. Can't... Can't stay in the house. Uh, and yeah, I've got nothing to do because of... I've basically lost my job. I had a... Um, I was still on my three-month trial contract which ended about just over a week ago and what they're doing is because the hotel's closed because everyone's locked down they're not going to renew my contract so I, I don't know but screw it I'm going out uh, just clear my head a little bit I think so I'll bring you guys back when I get there um, we get set up um, yeah just nice to be out again. So guys, yeah, we're here again. We check these trees and stuff. I think I'm uh, should be safe tonight. Even if it got windy, but it's not supposed to. So I've got my I've got my polaka. So I'm going to make a wee thingy. I'm going closer to the fire today. Uh, try and get a bit more heat. It's going to get into the minuses tonight, like. But the way the fire is and the wind, the wind's coming sort of straight towards me now. I'm figuring, trying to put this on an angle but still, you know, reasonably close to the fire. So if I can do that, maybe. take the smoke away. We'll see once I've got it picked out a bit. So I don't know, you want, you want me to put on a time lapse or shall I just carry on like I am? I think I'm going to carry on like I am because it shouldn't take too long to sell. Oh no, this this is my my sort of bungee cord and thingy bag. Although I don't have any bungees with me today, because although the bungees the bungees for setting up the hammock, they, I mean they are really really good. Don't get me wrong. 
Uh, but they weigh a lot. Like surprisingly a lot. I've got some pegs, I don't need a ridge line, I don't need anything. Just a half polaca. The other thing I'm wondering if we get some rain. Really, I should be on there and have a fire this, you know, have the reflector there and be sort of camping on there, but I don't want to be moving all this or setting other fires or... Should be alright. I didn't take a tarp with me, I maybe should have taken a tarp. If I had a tarp I could have draped it round if I was getting any, you know, rain spitting in or... Anything. But I think this would be good. <laughs> Maybe a bit close to fire there, we'll see. We shall see. I got I was lucky enough actually, these little straps they came in a little like we call them bomb bags. In America you call them fanny packs. But uh they actually came in that in that bag in a little bomb bag. So even though this is canvas as well, this uh, this setup's actually it's actually lighter than my hammock. technically sort that out but
do that's something I'll do later on is uh just what do we call it? Sort this. Sort this out, make it a bit a bit better for the thing a bit tinier. That's all she wrote, that'll do. Put a bit of strap in there, always keep the stuff together. So I think that'll be alright, I'm not gonna have a I'm not gonna have a bonfire or anything like that. That's really all that is, that little tripod and four tent pegs. close to the fire but should be alright and then I've just got I love this little thing instead of using a you know the, the tarps from DD aren't really expensive but just got my wee DD uh, magic carpet Great for this. Yeah, it's plenty big enough for sleeping on, for putting your gear on, but it's, uh, I think it costs about £15, it's maybe 20 I can't really remember. And what I use when I'm on the ground is I've got a self-inflating mat. Whichever I know, self-inflating mats aren't completely self-inflating. But I've also got this little bad boy here. And this is it adds extra comfort. It adds extra insulation because I don't have a you know like a really expensive uh, ground mat. Like one of these therma rests or something, you know, 150 quid. If I did have one of those, this would add protection for it as well, if there was any little thorns or anything under there. So that adds protection for my one as well, but... My mat works well, don't get me wrong. It's Bergos. But it only cost me... It was like £14, like £15.99 or something on a sale. one. Yeah, it was quite good. It came with a little repair kit and everything, which uh, just keep in there. A couple of these straps again. Put the straps to the bag. Bags in bags, bag section.
we go. So I'm not, I'm not going to put my sleeping bag and everything out yet because it's one ages to let go in it. Uh, but the second thing is, is it's not so many today. It's not as warm, but there are. I can see ants on this bit of wood. I've cleared all the ground here. There's not, not really been any there, but. Um, I'll just wait until the temperature drops a wee bit later Then I'll get my sleeping bag and everything out And uh, You know that'll You know Make it make it less likely there's going to be wee beasties crawling it while I'm waiting but Yeah that's the basic setup. I'll uh, I'll just get on with finishing off getting firewood Getting everything going and uh, Bring his back, I suppose. Well, ladies and gents, it's uh, coffee time, and I don't know if you probably tell there. I've uh, <laughs> I've moved my shelter back a little bit. When I started the fire, I done my usual pile method. Forget it gets quite quite big when I do that, and I have burned the absolute crap out of my uh, my ground sheet. I was saying it, it doesn't cost a lot just earlier, just as well it doesn't cost a lot because I've just put about twenty holes in it. <laughs> really didn't think that one through enough. I also put a hole in my self-inflating mat, just a little one. So I've, uh, I don't have any tape or anything with me. And I, as I said, it came with the repair kit, but that's at home. <laughs> so, um, I've patched up with, you know, one of those, uh, not moleskin, you know, one of those sort of rubberized, sticky, sticky plastery things you can get, you know, if you've got, blisters on your heels. So I've patched up with that, it seems to be holding just now. Whether it will hold for the two days or not, I don't know, but it doesn't, it doesn't. I've still got my other ground sheets, so on the ground mat, I just need, just need to make do with that. But yeah, that was a, I really should have thought about that. I've managed as well, there's one hole in my canvas shelter as well, half, and one half of it, which I'll need to patch up when I get home. I don't know whether to sew that up and wax it, or use tape, or I don't know. We'll see when I get home. But yeah, I don't know, I'm not sure what type of wood this is. Some of it I think is like, uh, Hawthorne. So there's Hawthorne in here. I know it burns hot and stuff, but it, it was very spitty. It was <laughs> like spitting off little thingies for ages, so that's what, that's what burnt my stuff. Well, you live and learn, folks. So, my water's boiled, I literally just put it on there. Um, as you can see as well, I've sort of got a nice big pile of wood there. It's actually doing me most of the night, if not the whole night, because I'm just keeping the fire going like, you know, kind of like it is there. Anyway, I'm going to sort my coffee out.
got myself a big log here. I'm just going to take a few bits off it now and again through the day. I'm glad I wish I had a chance. <laughs> That is one good thing about the silky, I mean, you know, look at that wood, that's, that's a good sized bit of wood. I'll just take a few off at a time, there's still all that there, it's still a massive bit, and then there's this even bigger tree. Don't know if I'll tackle that though, because that's about a foot across. We'll need to see on that one, maybe tomorrow. I kind of wish I brought my axe now because I would have that up and you know split it with my axe, but I didn't take it so we'll see how it goes. So I've just seen over here, uh, it's literally the only, it's like a solitary pine, well in this part of the wood anyway. There's no other pine for ages. So, and it is pine, tell by the needles, it's not spruce. See, I'm used to back home, spruce, and when I was looking for, uh, you know, fat wood, um, I never really found it off that. I found it sometimes in stumps, but, you know, I never just chopped off one of the lower limbs and found that, that uh, fat wood as it goes into the tree, so. I don't know, there's a few branches higher up. Oh, I'll show you. Yeah, so, you can see it's pine by the long needles. I'm not exactly sure of the species, but that looks like it's got about five needles out each bit. But um, what pine does is as it grows, you'll see just down near the bottom there, um, it kills off its own, um, its own branches. The one's been taken off here. So, I'm not going to take that really thick one, even though it's dead. I'm going to try, there's like three thinner ones, if I can reach them once my, my silky's extended. Uh, I don't know if it's been too long dead, or you see them up there? We'll give it a try anyway. Ah, you're right guys. Well, uh, I did take one branch, and it's kind of weird, you should be able to see it in there, you see that? It's kind of weird though, it's not right, not as much in the centre, but this ring right around here, that's pure fat wood. That's definitely fat wood. So, we're going to clean this up a wee bit. Let's see down here. See that? Yeah, that's fat. We can feel it. It's uh, a little bit sticky. I don't know how far up it will go. Or... Yeah, probably not to there. It's just the. The last couple of inches. Yeah, so we'll probably I'll clean it up just now anyway, and then I'll and then I'll saw it off. And then I'll just maybe batten through the middle of it just to, to see what's in the middle there. I think this is uh, quite an old dead branch. See, I needed to grab a. It was a tree stump over the way. I had to actually grab that to be able to reach it, even with a silky extending. I'm not tall enough. Uh, I don't think I'll be tall enough to grab any of the other branches either.
Probably not the best way to do this to cut this the way I'm doing it, but give me a second. I can see that's the you know, a bit further out from the tree. You can see there's nothing, nothing left in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna batten this. See if I can get out. See this? Yeah, funnily enough, there's not. It's not a whole lot in the middle of this. It's, uh, it's really just this outside bit. At least I'm going to keep that. I'll uh, keep that for tomorrow. Maybe light the fire tomorrow with it. Probably won't take it home. There's not really enough there to really be bothered with it. But I had that the pile because. I was away grabbing a wee bit more birch bark there and stuff, just some, some tinders. So, uh, yeah. I see I've got my pile of wood. So I've used a fair bit, I've only been putting a couple of, I'll just show you in a second when that burns down to coals, I'll bring you back and show you how fast it just, whoop, from coals. But I brought all this in again, so by the time I chop that up, plenty to go round. My little setup, but uh, the wind keeps swirling here. It's kind of annoying. Whether I stand here, it goes here. If I sit on the thing, it goes there. If I lie in the shelter, it goes there. So we're going to be playing uh, musical chairs with the smoke. This camp, I think. Well, but that was a that was an interesting for me. We um, we look at because I can get a lot more pine. When I go further, like where I was with one of my first camps, he's on me with the, the two halves of the thingy, there's pine everywhere, just a little bit up there. So I think a constant supply of fat would, but pine and birch, like I, I don't think there'll ever be a time where you can't start a fire, <laughs> if you know what you're looking for. Hey guys, that's a... Uh... The fire's right down, but I'm just going to show you, I mean, okay, there's a couple of flames there, but there's not that much. Just when I put one of these logs on, which is the, if you listen to them, it's so dry, it's unreal. We've not really had any rain here for ages, but just watch how quick that goes up. There you go, that's caught already. Before I put some on, it was literally, it was just coals, no flame, no nothing. I put them on there, three logs, within 30 seconds, were... So I'm actually going through quite a bit of wood, because it is so dry. I'm not really sure what type of wood this is. I'm still not sure what type of trees these are, but... or something. But they do seem the type of trees that drop the branches, that's why there's so much wood around here, that's why I've got to be careful, but 
right above me I've got a little space so I shouldn't be getting hit by anything but uh, yeah, I definitely wouldn't come here if there was a lot of wind so everyone we're going to cook something I've uh, pre-done the rice just in one of those little you know boil in the bag things so I forgot the veg but this is just going to be a, a rice with pork put a wee bit of spices in it and I think I'll, uh, <coughs> I'm going to do it in wraps so all I've done here is see the heat in that fire taking some coals over here Cook on. I'm hoping that works on fire like that. But, yeah. That's it. Set that one there. Keep a glove on because. It would actually be nice to have my tripod, but obviously that's getting used for my... Ouch! My, uh, my shelter, so... Get this a wee fry off. Yeah, it's nothing special, special. Put the rice in and I'm going to chuck just a little bit of oil, a little bit of extra oil because this oil is chilli, garlic confused. Just to help that rice not stick. Okay. The fire is roasting. Let's just go everywhere. I don't know, I'm burning stuff as I go. I'm down, everyone. Put the other glove on that knuckle bun or that. Oh, 
Wish I hadn't forgot those veg though. It should have been so much nicer. Or if I had a tin of like, I don't know, like cannellini beans or something like that would have been nice. That is all that needs. So yeah, we've got our, we've got our pork and our rice there. And we're gonna make that in wraps. So we've got the fire back going. It took two seconds. So I'm gonna try these fajitas, unfortunately. I don't really have anything to cook them on. Well, I do have, I've got a skillet there. I could technically, I could technically brown them off. They're a bit big, or I, or I could have browned them off. So. Nearly forgot the Tabasco. <laughs> Give me a little bit of spice. So, this isn't the most elegant of meals, but Circumstances being what they are, I'm just kind of using things up. Yeah, hope you can see that there. And yeah, I'm just putting this in a wrap because uh, I don't like wraps. <laughs> no other reason. Full demo. And I don't like them too full, so cheers, everybody. Anyway. Oh, I'll bring you back as I'm going to finish that. I'm sure you got better things to do than watch me eating.
Well guys, it's fairly late now, so I have retired to my sleeping bag. I'm just sitting here watching the fire. Um, I think I'm out going to sleep. So I've been in a decent camp so far. There shouldn't be any rain through the night. Uh, and into tomorrow and that. It's just going to be overcast, I think. <coughs> so I'm just going to chill out here, watch a little bit more of Campfire TV and then and turn in for the night. If, uh, if it's ain't cool or something wakes me up near the night, or something like that, I'll uh, I'll bring it back. But if not, I guess I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> night, folks. Oh, good morning, everyone. Oh, I just got my hood up because it's a bit warmer than uh, <laughs> than my baseball cap. But um, yeah, I'm already on coffee number one. It's getting light. It was up about six o'clock. But I, uh, I say I've already got a fire going. It's, um, it's just been on all night. It's never went out yet. <sighs> oh. So yeah, I was up. It was still dark when I was up. But um, I had a decent sleep, woke up a few times through the night, stoked the fire and took something running about in the woods. I could proper hear it running about through the night. I think it was a bit of fox or something. I think. It was quite oh I'll take it off. It was quite close to me but wasn't a, I don't think it was a pig or anything like that. I don't, it didn't sound right for that. It sounded quite light on its feet, you know. I think it was a fox or something. <coughs> yeah, it's cold this morning. Very cold, actually. <laughs> Because we don't have the, the, we don't tend to have the moisture in the air and stuff. It's very dry. It, it's cold, but you don't really see a frost or anything. It's not actually that common here to get a frost. But I'm gonna sit here and have a uh, coffee number one, maybe coffee number two, and possibly even coffee number three. Yeah, I'll make some food in a little bit. That's the last of the wood I'll put on that fire now, that'll just... Oh, pardon me. That'll just burn away. You have to excuse my sniffing, I've got a runny nose. <coughs> so yeah, I'll uh, bring you guys back in a little bit when I'm... When I'm cooking breakfast. But stuff to the record. Well, my patch up, it didn't really, it didn't really hold the air in last night on that mat, so it really was just one of those little thin foam mats I was sleeping on last night, which for me and my back is, <laughs> it's not that good. So I'm a bit, a bit stiff this morning, like. I need to use the repair kit on it when I get home, when I get home, I'll use the proper repair kit on it. <laughs> And that should fix it. It'll be alright. Well, guys, it is time for breakfast. I'll just let this go right down to coals because. Nice even heat on that pan. 
ね。That's about right. Yeah, I've just got these sausages because, uh, uh, what do you want to call it? They keep good. Sausages of hot dogs, really. They've got lots of nice sausage and stuff in Poland, but definitely something I miss. back home. Just your normal way of Normal everyday sausages. Let's put these to the side there. Really like these are these are hot dogs, so they're cooked already. Really, just heat them through. Ah. Now I'm gonna stick a couple of eggs on. Oh, my back is absolutely oh destroyed from last night. Need to get that mat fixed. I'll just let that fire burn right down so I can put it out easy. I was going to stay two days, but um, without a decent ground mat, no chance, man. I'll absolutely destroy my back. And I really don't want to do that. So. I'm going to have me a big breakfast today as well because I'm going to have a lot to eat yesterday, just a couple of them wraps. Yeah, definitely miss from all my square slice. You don't get that in England. Any Scottish people know what that is. <coughs> Long sausage. They've got blood sausage over here, but it's not the same as black pudding. You've got your black pudding, your normal sausages, just your 
your um, pork sausages and normal ones and oh bacon as well you get bacon here but it's like it's like smoked pork belly so it's like it's like American bacon like streaky bacon but it's basically like hot smoked hot smoked pork belly so even when you get that it's not it's not raw it's not like like the bacon we get it's not completely raw nice and stuff but it's not just not the same Oh, and the last thing, brown sauce. Oh, you can't get brown sauce here. I'm gonna get my sister to send me over a wee care package, I think. Strong tea, brown sauce, a few other bits and bobs. But I'm a chef. That's really bad. <laughs> Seal this pan off as well. Tip if you ever got a new cast iron pan, or anything like that, you can seal it off by put it on a high heat, basically, cover it in salt. I just cook it for a while. You know, the salt does something to the metal, it makes it kind of seals it off and 
Makes it really non-stick. You do it with planches as well. You get a new plancher. There we go. Sausage and egg and a little bit of a little bit of Tabasco on it. I like chili or Tabasco on my eggs. So you're gonna eat this. And uh, maybe think about packing up. So everyone, that's me heading home. Maybe they'll be open, but uh, showing up on things you like's not so good. It's kind of overcast today, but cold. It's nice though, dry. So uh, yeah, We're heading home. It was a great camp. Um, I did decide to call it short because, uh, well, mostly because that sleeping pad broke. And yeah, sure, I could stay out, but. Yeah, I've got back problems and uh, it's just not worth it. So yeah, as I said, not worth it, so we at home now, we can go out another day, it's no problem. Yeah, I had an awesome camp, uh, really nice weather. That fire, I was roasty toasty all night, like, so easy to get wood up there. <laughs> but um, yeah, so thanks everyone for watching. Um, thanks for all my subscribers and uh, you know if you're not yet subscribed you know please consider subscribing and uh, if you want notifications you know you hit that little bell and um, I'll continue to put out content as long as possible in the current circumstances um, yeah so I'll see you all in the next one ciao ciao